All right, back again for another video. This time, I'm going to be showing you this pretty young lady right here. Young woman, you need it, I got it. She is the enchanting NPC. With this, you can enchant your main weapon, you can enchant your everything. I'll just talk to her. Here she is. You can enchant, you can pick what you want to enchant or remove enchantments. So I'm going to show you my really pathetic weapon. There it is. See how pathetic that is? Has hardly anything. Yeah, I know. I'm a GM. I can have whatever I want. Okay, so I'm going to enchant this because there's just not enough stats on here. I need it to be more powerful. So we're going to talk to this young woman in her Daisy Dukes. I'm going to enchant my weapon. Let's see. What do I want? Berserking sounds good. Let's enchant it with Berserking. Science beat stick successfully enchanted. Now let's check. Normal. Enchanted. There, it has Berserking on it. Listed right under plus 128 to all resistances. And that worked. But I don't really... I don't know. I don't like Berserking. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. I wish to remove my enchant off my main hand. And it's been successfully removed. And now it's gone. Pretty simple. There are config options for most of this stuff. Um, how much it costs, if you want to use tokens, whatnot. Blah, blah, blah. Same as all the others, I always make sure there's config options. And I put things in database anytime that I can because it needs to be as simple as possible with less chance of server restarting. You know, nobody wants a script that you have to recompile anytime you want to make a change. I try and make it simple for everybody. Subscribe, like, comment, suggestions, ideas. If you have an idea for a script, put it in the comments. I read them all the time. All three of them that I have so far. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time.